Hello Claudio, how are you? Okay, nice to find your first take for the pop solo. Let's check what's happening here. <laughs> Very, very nice solo. Okay, it's demanding because of the of all those bands. Good job with the pitch. Okay, this is a great first take. Uh, I think that you 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 could learn the whole thing, the, the, all the leaks, all the phrases, and now you should uh, polish and work on details. Okay, let's for example analyze the the, the first uh, ten seconds. <laughs> Okay, there you could polish a bit more the bands and work on timing. Let's check the original one. That phrase. For example, that no, that uh, let me check which. When he gets back to the fifth fret, to to that C note, uh, he he he's playing it a bit <coughs> um, after, a bit later than you. Check that. You, you, you play that one a bit faster. And also the first band is not tight there. Okay, it's, it's not consistent. Okay, you, you, you need to practice it to, to, to reach the, the pitch faster. Okay, it must be like, <coughs> uh, uh, you, you have to go there. Like a shot. No. <laughs> like like searching the note. How do you achieve that? Okay, working on uh, bending like this. You first play the rich note and then bend to it, and you could do this everywhere. But the, the, there are many bands that are okay here, so uh, it's, it's not that, that you have a big problem with your bending, but you have to pay attention to that and maybe work a bit. And also polish the timing there, okay? As I said, not only the, that note that, that, that... Let me learn it. Uh, please fix the, the timing issue and the rhythm issue. Okay, that, that one that goes a bit later. And you can also polish uh, dynamics there. Okay, so there are many things to work only on one fragment. 
okay? You, you, you can write down the thing that need attention. <coughs> In this case, the bending pitch, uh, the, the rhythm thing, and polishing a bit the whole timing and focusing on dynamics. I know that you are working a bit on your dynamics. There are different intensities, but uh, I think that there's some room to make it sound more connected with, with the phrasing and with the backing. Let's let check, check that one. Okay, the... It's, 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 it's also, the, the timing issue is also related to the speed of your band. And the duration of the notes. These type of solos seem to be easy, but there are plenty of details there that uh, need to be analyzed, learned, worked, replied, emulated, and everything. Uh, so, so you get the more from the lesson, you get the more from Stefan playing that is very tasty, very expressive. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. This part is, is better regarding dynamics and uh, it's a bit better regarding timing. Also, uh, just uh, you, you could add the vibrato there. <coughs> that one? Okay, yeah, that, that one needs some, it's a bit uh, rushed, okay, so. Do, 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 do. Okay. It's 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 rush. Can can you hear it now? Hmm? One, two, three. Okay. Three. Dynamics there and the, that that the slight uh, bend that is added there is also it is it, it's, it's also how many things you can get from this. Okay. Okay, uh, and in all these parts, I think that that you are playing this with with better pitch, uh, also with with the right rhythm, <coughs> but you can pol polish a bit more the the groove and the timing of everything and the the, the overall sound. But the 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 is is similar to what we analyzed in the first part. So I th I still think that it would be great if you can do this. A and B comparison and uh, work on very uh, uh, small fragments. You you could more work on 10 seconds, 15 seconds, uh, 50, 15 seconds. <laughs> uh, so you can uh, really uh, pay attention and, and focus on, on these details. Because it, it is the same, it's the same again. It's, it's mostly related to small timing issues and well you always can get more dynamics from Stephane playing okay that that one okay the, I noticed that there there's an extra sound that is happening maybe it's a random thing Okay, but I learned this from Steve Vai, not personally, I didn't meet him. 
unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, I, I learned this from, from seeing him playing. That is to use this first finger as a bar when I'm not using it. Okay, I, I learned it when, when I was trying to play. Okay, that song. Oh, I don't remember. Okay, I don't remember it and I had to relearn the song because I love it. But when learning that song, I saw Steve Vai doing this type of thing. Which is great because you can mute the other strings and focus on making your bending or vibrato really wide. So when I well, when I do the band here and using the same thingy, so I stay safe on having the open G, uh, open B or the open G sounding. And the same when I'm doing slides and things like that. So maybe that there, when you are doing like this, that you you could get problems when you use this type of bend with this finger. Use it as a bar, but not pressing, just muting. You will be able even to uh, play with your pick the other strings and get the the rake. the rocker type of band or maybe the other one but without having the the unwanted noises there let's get back to this camera yeah <clears throat> that band could be better Here we go with it. There. There again. When, when you get back and play the <coughs> the pull off, you, you also have the issue. Okay, th there are some other extra uh, unwanted noises and also work on timing there. Okay, and that last phrase. Okay, that last phrase also. You, you can, it, it's okay, you, you're playing this really well. Uh, I, I think that you, maybe you would get a, a seven in, in the rec program. Uh, but um, then um, I, I think a seven, a six, a six, a six. So we we have more headroom there. Uh, but the the the, the other uh, notes, the other points in the rec grading would be uh, to to achieve the the right timing, the right bends the right dynamics and work a bit on your tone you ask you ask there about the tone let's talk a bit about the tone your tone here is a bit crunchy while Stephane's tone <coughs> is cleaner and warmer I will start with with a cleaner tone. Let, let's see what we can do here. Here we go. I'm I'm using the the Pliny 
the archetype T Pliny by Neural DSP. This is a crunch tone, but I think that I, I would go for uh, a cleaner song. This is this is uh, a bit dirty. I would go here. We have the amp for the cleaner amp. Here we are uh, closer. So when when I changed the the amp, everything uh, went better. So this is the clean amp, of course. Let's see. We we have an overdrive there. That maybe what well, we can tune it off and turn on the compressor that has some gain. Let's listen to this again. I, I think that the, um, the fretboard uh, pickup goes better, but this is a bit bassy, so I would... Ah, here we have the, the bright... Uh, let me... <coughs> I, I show this bigger. So we have the bright there. Okay, uh, I will add some more treble and presence. some dirty uh, but we are close <coughs> let's see if we can turn on the overdrive but with very very little drive I like it we, we had the tone there that is helpful to get a closer it <coughs> let's turn down a bit now the treble and the press let's see what does this EQ do oh, I like it like here no less less mid okay now let's go here we have the the mix uh, I, I always like the SM57 it's the one that I use in, in real life is one of the mix the other I, I continue using the the right one there so now we are closer let me check it and one thing that I would do now that I'm close <coughs> but I still think that my tone could be warmer I had a bit less dry instead of going to the the amp I will go to my guitar because we always forget about how many things we can do with the stuff here so I basically I feel that I should have to low down a bit the volume there and now it's better Thank you. 
-hmm. Of course, we are using different guitars, but now we are talking. Now we are closer to the type of sound that he's using. So uh, I, I just wanted to show you how I would deal with this uh, search for the perfect tone for the lesson. Uh, I think that your video uh, sounds better. I, I think that you said here that <coughs> you are using the arm into the PC. That's good. You find it uh, smoother to, to record, continue using it. Uh, I think that your crunchy tone is a bit too crunchy. Uh, and needs to be warmer, okay? I, I hope that uh, this video gives you some ideas on how to get it. You don't need the same plugin than me. Don't, you don't need the, the archetype Pliny. You can use... Uh, everything, the, the same parameters that you find here will be found in uh, any software that you are using, uh, even in your real amp, of course. Um, and you can add some plugins if you need the, the compressor or the overdrive, or you can add any pedal if you have. Okay, mate, I hope that this helped. Uh, continue practicing, work on a small blocks, analyze uh, the, the original lesson and keep on rocking. Bye bye.